Yeah, I'm working on uh, this 15 mil stuff for uh, a, a friend of mine down in the States, acquaintance guy down in the States, who's developing a 15 mil sci-fi type game. So he needed outpost buildings and uh, you know he needs some platforms and stuff. So uh, I've got a couple ideas for platforms that I'm working on. I'll show those ones later. I've been doing this kind of on my live show. It's been just something I was doing on the live show, but anyways. So, back to junk collecting. Check this out. You can't see, it's all white. And he's moving. Dollar 99. That was the price. What the hell is that? It makes absolutely no sense. It is. About that, mm, you can still can't see. There's lots of them. Anyways, but these, which you still can't see, they're white. I have a problem with whites in here. So that's what they are. See, they look like that foam piece there, but they're little foam things. Uh, women use them for cosmetics, I think. I think they're for. S I don't know what the hell they use them for. Tell you the truth. Made in China. They could be just paint palettes. Cheap paint palettes. I don't know. But a buck ninety nine there was like twenty five or thirty of them. Eh? Come in a bundle. Made in can China it says on this bag and this bag obviously fit them. So I don't know where you would get them. Buck ninety nine seems like a good price for those. So what I did was I stuck it onto a board, one of them. Uh, I still can't see. Hold it still. Flicker, 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 flicker. Anyways, there we go. Yeah, that's not bad. Still can't see. Quit fucking waving it around. I uh, glued it onto this and I painted it gray. And I've added a little bit of that sculpt mold stuff, eh? But you can use that clay shit or that sell you clay stuff or make your own paper mache. Kleenex with glue. And just fill up the cracks around it. Eh? And then I used a, a broken piece of drawer for the baby. I like wood because then it doesn't warp and it'll lie flat for you, eh? Always lie flat. And it'll be more sturdy. I don't know if you can no, I probably can't. Never mind. You can see the the texture of the wood still underneath here, so I'm gonna fill that up. I put a little just a little bit there because I think I might put a building there or a platform or something. What I'm gonna use with this is is uh holding fonts for something. So this is gonna be concrete. So we need to dry brush that. Uh this is just a base coat type stuff. I just mix some glue and paint together, eh? So just needs, well, it's not bad. Pick something kind of medium between your base chip there. Shit. Maybe just a drift or something. Oh, I'm so messy. You're so messy. Probably look at the camera. I wish I had a time counter. I should hit a time. So we used to working outside, eh? you know, you just dump shit on the floor and then sweep it up later, but probably shouldn't do that in the house. So a little bit of that gray and a little bit of light, bright type. What color is this? Doesn't matter. A light gray. Drizzle gray. Whatever friggin' gray you got, eh? I don't really like this color, this type of paint, but I got it for really cheap. Some of it's nice. You can get, I mean, it's. Well, it depends what you're doing, eh? Depends what you're doing. These are the brushes I like the best for, for dry brushing. 
you know, the cheap old primary school type bristle type brushes. Shit, you can buy them for cheap too. Uh, depends, you know, it's like some dollar stores have like three packs for a buck, eh? And other ones will have da -da 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 -da, whatever. Look around because there's packages of about a dozen of them, hey? And they have like, you know, all the way from really big ones like this, hey? Down to a bunch of little ones, and they'll have a whole shitload of packages like that. And they'll be a buck and a half, two bucks, maybe a buck, you know, something like that. Those are the ones I buy, and when I see those, I buy them all usually. Because then you have, you know, 30 or 40 paintbrushes. Uh, I carve them into tools for doing sculpting. After the bristles are all screwed up, I carve them into tools. And I use those for tools for carving and stuff, because they're really handy, eh? Mixing shit. They're good and sturdy. So I use I, I use those a lot. And then at the end I'll use them for tree trunks. So they're good brushes. Good brushes and they're cheap, eh? So those are the ones I like the best for doing all my dry brushing with. They have a nice they have a nice bristle. Now if I'm doing miniatures, it depends. I like you know, this is coarse, right? So I'm I'm talking about dry brushing shit like this, okay? If I'm doing miniatures, uh, well, you got to you know it depends on your style because everybody's a little bit different and your technique is different. Uh, your availability of supplies and brushes, you know, because I mean, yeah, you know, okay, these are a, a buck and a half or two bucks for a dozen of them, you know. Some of these brushes, you know, are like, well. What was this one? This is a cheap one here, but this was three sixty-five. You know, for the one brush. And you know, I you want back when I'm painting and stuff like that. Oh man, I've spent lots on brushes. Holy jeez! You know, so much on brushes that you know you end up making yourself something to, to keep them in, so that they're all nice and safe. You know, like because you you spend tons on them, eh? Uh, I used to do sign painting back when I was going, putting myself through college and stuff. When my kid was just a baby and that, oh, man, I really sucked. Eh? But uh, you'd use uh, you know various brushes, and depending on the paints that you were using, yeah, you, you know you'd wash them off, you know, and you'd put all your bristles all nice and straight, and then I would coat them in Vaseline, eh, just in case there was any residual paint in there and you didn't want it to dry, and you'd coat them all in in Vaseline, eh? and then you'd have them all laid out all nice and neat, eh? all your, you know, your painting brushes and stuff like that, eh? and then you'd clean them out in, you know, a thinner type paint, thinner, parcel, whatever, and then use your paint, Shh. I was using dangerous paints back then, lead based, one shot, good paint, really good paint, holy Jesus, uh, sorry for language, I uh, painted a couple of signs, uh, Oh man, 20 years later they still look really good. Yeah, I was impressed. Yeah, quite impressed. So, good paint, but lead-based. Anyways, back to dry brushing. Start with your medium. Little bit of paint. Okay, we'll film this in the dark. Voila. Okay, it's running on me. Just a little bit of paint, eh? So I've taken some paint, I've wiped off most of it. Now I'm going through where I wiped it all off. That's how little I'm using. So I'm just using the paint that I wiped off. Okay, so you just want a little bit. See how I wipe, wipe just a bit over and... So, I mean, that's, that's how much paint you're using on a dry brush. That's why they call it dry brushing. Okay, so I didn't get my brush wet. So now that you got just a little bit of paint on there, you go on your piece. And it doesn't look like you're putting anything on there, but trust me, you are. So, just a little bit of paint, like I said, you know what I showed you. I mean, minor freaking amount. And like anything, anything worthwhile takes time, so. Once you get good at it, you can take a, you know, well, no, no, you can't. You gotta use a little bit of paint.
Now in this case, I'm just painting the top edges out of here because I'm going to fill these up anyways, eh? so don't get too carried away. Besides, at this stage you can probably, you know, well shit, you, you will definitely make a mistake, drop a drip on it like I did there, something like that, so until it's all finished, you know, and you're just about to put that sealing coat on it, a clear coat or whatever, yeah, don't don't get all hung up on mistakes, man. Boy, this is boring. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the light back on. Now that you've uh, 